Hello everyone, my name is Luke. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Spoiler warning, this video isn't going to be particularly thrilling or exciting. I'm basically just saying thank you. We just hit a quarter of a million subs, which is absolutely insane to me. I, I can't believe it. Um, just a, a few weeks ago, I looked at the counter and it was at like 242,000, I think it was. And I was like, okay, well, we need to start planning for a quarter of a million but we got some time, so when it gets closer, we'll plan something elaborate like a meetup, or maybe we'll like go and rent a movie theater, and anybody in Colorado or surrounding states can like come and we'll watch a movie together or something. But out of nowhere, we hit the target, um, <laughs> which is good. I mean, it's it's good that it happened sooner than I expected, because we've had some very successful re videos recently. I reworked um, the thumbnail style for um the most recent uploads like the four or five most recent uploads uh, actually inspired by some true crime channels that i follow if you don't know and if you don't follow me on twitch you should by the way uh you might not know that i'm actually really into true crime i i, I love that stuff i find it really interesting and i follow a bunch of channels in that space and i noticed that a lot of them have a lot of success with just simply putting a picture and then some simple text nothing flashy no crazy like warped text with photoshopped big eyes and you know huge expressions just keep it simple and respectful to the audience make it clear and concise and people will watch it if they're interested and we've had a ton of success our click-through rate tripled in the last three videos that we've done so we've had a ton of success a ton of new subscribers as a result if you're new here hi welcome i'm glad to have you um and uh, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. Hopefully that keeps up because if it does, we can just keep ratcheting up the quality. We can uh, expand into some other ventures I've wanted to pursue. Um, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. I, I wanted to take this moment to just kind of look back and appreciate how far we've come because we weren't always in a really nice studio space with nice lights and cameras and stuff. We started this YouTube journey literally in my mom's basement, <laughs> like literally in my mom's basement. And I was recording videos on my little MacBook Pro that I had saved up for for years with money I made from chess tournament winnings and from tutoring like other elementary school and junior high kids from around the world in chess. Um, I would hop on a Skype call and then I would charge like 15 bucks an hour to teach kids. And um, there were some adults I, I taught as well um, chess because I was pretty good at it. And I used to play competitively uh, back back in the day before I I uh, was introduced to girls, basically. So <laughs> I, I did that. I got the MacBook Pro and I started getting into video games uh, around like kind of early to mid high school before that. I was in a pretty sheltered household and we weren't really allowed to play video games. We had like a Wii from 2006 and like a PlayStation 2, but that like that was it. And even then we only had a couple of games lying around to play on those. So we really just we didn't play video games. And I was introduced to that world of video games around 2014 leading into 2015. I really started getting into them. And it was a whole new world. Like, there's no other way to describe it. It just, it was like I discovered some secret, like, wardrobe into Narnia. And I had this whole new universe to explore. And I fell in love with it. And I wanted to start talking about it. So I started making videos about video games as well. And, you know, they started with cringe, like, hype videos around Fallout 4 just speculating you know i saw in this freeze frame from this trailer that they showed i remember one video i made they showed gas prices on the red rocket gas station location and i said so what if they have gas for sale in the game and then they'll have cars in fallout 4 and you can get a car go and refuel and then drive it around the map that would be incredible and that was the whole video that was the whole premise that i saw some numbers on a gas station sign <laughs> like that was the whole thing so Hopefully you are appreciative of how much I've grown as a creator and <laughs> that I'm not still doing that stuff. I look back and I can appreciate it. They were good times, but I'm also like, oh, it's cringe. It's so cringe. But I think that's 
part of the journey. Like I get asked so frequently on Twitter DMs, emails direct to me over on our Discord, all of which links below. And people will reach out and ask if I have advice for them when it comes to making YouTube content or streaming or whatever it may be. And the one thing I always try to just put forward is like, don't expect your first 200 videos to be something that you'll look back on in 10 years and be like, wow, that was phenomenal. I really nailed that. If you expect that, then you're not going to go into it with the hunger to grow and learn. You have to go into it realizing like, it's not perfect, but this is the best I can do right now. And I'm going to keep growing and learning. And that's what we've done. I mean, I look back at some of those early critiques we did back in like 2017 and there's tons of stuff I would change. Um, tons of stuff I would change. I look back at stuff uh, we put out even in 2020 and I'm like, oh yeah, that what was I thinking with that? I should have redone it, redone it this way. And you're always growing and learning. And I think that hunger for perfection is good because it forces you to keep growing. But be warned, like when you have that hunger and some of you probably know what this is like, like I, I can't be satisfied really with anything, like even our studio space, like in the last video, the, the lighting was different and things were like, I'm always changing stuff because I just, I can never really be happy or be complacent and it's a blessing and a curse because on the one hand, it's good. It keeps things changing. It makes it so I never get complacent. I never just sit back and, and rest on my laurels. But it's also a curse because it means I can never actually be satisfied with where I am or what I'm doing, which is really frustrating. I mean, I look at friends and family who are working, you know, pretty straightforward, maybe blue collar jobs and you know, they've got their wife, their kids, and they have a little house that they stay in and they are totally content to work that job for 40 years, retire with a, a nice pension or with their IRA and cash out. And, you know, that that's it. That's the whole gig. And for some people, that sounds beautifully peaceful. It sounds like the American dream. Um, but for me, like that sounds and no diss on them. But to me, that just sounds almost like it, it actually kind of makes me have feelings of, of like fear and I wouldn't say disdain, but it, it's almost like uh, I'm terrified of being satisfied like that, which is weird. Cause I can also look at it and be like, I think I would be a lot happier if I could <laughs> just, do that and be happy about it and be satisfied or just be like, wow, we're here right now. I'm satisfied or, or look at what I can do now. I'm satisfied, but I, I can't do it. And it's weird. Maybe I need therapy or something. But, you know, for now, I think it's a useful curse because it, it's forcing me to constantly chase the next thing try to figure out what the next big successful venture is going to be. We try a lot of things. A lot of them fail, but a few of them are successful and those are the ones we chase. Um, and it's only, it's only natural. And it, it reminds me of a story which a friend of mine actually reminded me of. I, I met this guy. Um, I don't think he'll mind me using his name. I met this guy, Corey, uh, when I was what, I think a junior in college, you know, a, a handful of years ago, three, four years ago. And I, I met him because we were moving into a college house together. He knew this guy that I knew. So he was like the third in our little group or the fourth in our group moving into this house. So I didn't know him, but we both knew the same connecting person. Right. And when I met him, we started talking and filling in each other on, you know, what we, we did like for work and hobbies and what we were studying and all of this. And at the time I forgot this and he reminded me of it recently at the time I told him uh, that I had a YouTube channel and I wasn't doing it full time uh, because I, I couldn't afford it. It wasn't generating anywhere near enough money. Um, at the time it was probably like three, 400 bucks a month or something, but I, I had about 60,000 subs and he asked me, like, when will you be satisfied? Like, when will you be like, yeah, I've, I've done this. 
I, I did the YouTube thing. I'm, I'm good. Like now I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I can just write it out. I can keep doing it the same way. I'm good. And apparently I told him at the time, like 80,000 subs, I'll be satisfied. And if not, then, you know, when I hit a hundred thousand, I surely will be like, I'll get the silver play button, which right there, right there. I'll get the silver play button with my name inscribed on it and I'll be, I'll be satisfied. I'll be good. And then we pass 80,000 subs and we pass 100,000 subs. And he asks me the same question and I say 150,000. I think I'll be really good. We hit 150,000. Yeah, I think 200,000. That's a really solid number. And I, I think at that point, you know, I've done it. Maybe I'll move on to a big boy job, right? I will have done it. And we hit that. And now we're at a quarter of a million, 250,000 of you guys out there, which is still mind boggling. Um, and even now I, I can appreciate it and I can realize just how mind bendingly huge that number is. Just how many people are out there that have slowly been, you know, tagging along to this journey and, and, wanting to see more of my weird creations and uh, I can appreciate that but even now I'm like yeah oh, 500,000 is that's the target and I'm sure when I hit 500,000 I'm gonna be like well it's not a million and then we'll hit a million and I'm gonna be like I mean I really want that whatever it is diamond play button so let's get to 10 million and it's just gonna keep going like that you know it's just how these things work um so I'm sure I need to get better about that because I, I don't think you can live a satisfied life if you are incapable of ever just being like, I'm good. I'm good. And maybe one day I'll get to that point and I, I can say I'm good. But as of right now, I just want to keep chasing it, which is why I'm just so thankful that there are so many of you guys out there who put up with me and are willing to support me, um, watch my stuff, tune into the live streams you know, throw donations in those streams, even though you never feel the obligation to the YouTube channel is doing just fine. So I'm just saying in general terms, support. The fact there's so many of you guys out there willing to do that is very, very comforting. And um, I'm, I'm humbled by it. I, I don't know how else to put it. I'm, I'm just, I'm very humbled by it. Even now, like I had somebody reach out to me recently and, um, and they, they just said like, hey, I used to work with you at Magnolia Home Theater back in whenever that would have been, like 2017, 18, maybe somewhere in there. And uh, he's like, I remember when you you left that company and, and you left to pursue YouTube stuff full time. And now I see like you've done it and you you have a successful channel and you, you're doing it as a, a full time job and. Um, you, you're doing well. It, it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel like I could chase my own dreams. And I, I would encourage all of you, you know, if you have that one thing you've been looking to try and to do, give it a shot. Like, just do it. You know, I, I always, we all make fun of that Shia LaBeouf a meme you know the just do it make your dreams come true yesterday you said today so just do it like we make fun of that i remember when i first saw that i actually like everybody around me was laughing and giggling and i wasn't i was like no he's he's right like he's right i don't know what to tell you like he is right back in the the old days like back in 2015 I would put clips of Shia LaBeouf yelling, just do it into the end card of my videos as like a self motivator to myself to keep making content, to keep doing it. Um, Cause it's true. Like if you want to be a YouTuber, you have to create YouTube content. If you want to be a streamer, you got to stream. If you want to be an artist, you got to create art. You like creators create. And if you want to be a creator, you have to create. It's very simple, but I cannot tell you how often people reach out to me for that aforementioned advice and they aren't making stuff. They aren't creating. And yet their dream is to be a creator. You know, if, if you want to make your dreams come true, you just got to go start doing it and then work at it. Be humble. 
understand your shortcomings, try to improve them, learn from your mistakes, grow and grow and grow and grow. And if you're on that grind, eventually you will find success. It might take you a month. It might take you a year. It might take you five years. It might take you a decade. You just never know. But if you want to be successful, if you want to create, create. It's it's very, it's shockingly straightforward. Uh, it just, it is. I, it, it's so simple, it'll go over your head. And it goes over a lot of people's heads. Because I cannot tell you how often people say, I, I want to do X, Y, and Z. And they just never do it. You know, well, next year I'm going to do it when I have the free time or next year I'm going to do it when I, I save up some more money or I want to stream, but my computer's too slow and I want to make YouTube videos, but my microphone's bad. There's always a million reasons not to do something. Just do it. Make your dreams come true because yesterday you said tomorrow. So just do it. That's my my word of wisdom ripped off from Shia LaBeouf. But I'm going to leave it there. I, I just wanted to record this short video. Say thank you to all of you guys out there um, who have helped make this a reality. I truly don't feel like I deserve you guys. Um, and the outpouring of support and, and love that we just constantly get is truly humbling. I don't understand it but I appreciate it <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing how this all changes and how we grow and expand uh, over the years to come. I have some plans in the works for uh, improvements and reworkings for this summer. For one, we plan to stream a lot more over on Twitch. Um, for the like for those of you asking about potentially expanding and and doing streaming on YouTube um I've had talks with with YouTube gaming I as of right now I'm not sure if it's the best fit for us but I'm always open to discussing it further with them um but we're going to keep streaming we're going to stream a lot more we uh are going to be pumping out a ton of critiques I have a dedicated editor just for critiques now in addition to assistance from Zygo Media, the same company that does all of the editing for Tim the Tapman. Um, they are working on my weekly content. And then that frees up time for me to do big video essays that uh, that I like in addition to also working on the critiques. Um, much more focused. And I think it's going to strike a good balance. And I think we're going to be able to pump out a ton of content while maintaining the highest qualitative standards. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see what all of this looks like over the coming months. Um, but I think it's, I think it's going to be good. I'm really excited about it. But with that, thank you for watching. I love all of you more than you could possibly know. Let me know how long you've been watching in the comment section below. I'm actually really interested to see uh, how many OGs are there. And if you're not an OG, that's okay. If you popped in like, on a video I made last year, let me know. I find that so interesting and so cool when people pop in and, and say like, oh, I, I saw your thing from back then in this kind of obscure video and that's how I found you. I find that stuff really, really interesting. So let me know, but I'll leave it there. I'll stop rambling. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.